Good morning. So today I thought I'd share with you some ideas on the relationship between money, wealth, financial well-being, and happiness. Money, wealth, financial well-being, and happiness. So of course, uh, money is a human invention. It exists uh, in the collective imagination. It is the symbolic expression of what society and the world values. Uh, the origin of money goes back to ancient Sumeria and Mesopotamia where people found that it was easier to symbolically um, express uh, trust in someone or um, uh, get a service or a product, usually some kind of food, by um, using either silver or copper or coins or um, shells or even uh, grains of barley. So these were used for transactions. <clears throat> if I wanted a haircut or wanted my shoes repaired, in exchange I could uh, offer somebody uh, fruit or vegetables or possibly a goat or bananas. That was the original system of barter. But it got complicated because, you know, I may have only a surplus of goats and barley and you have the ability to um, repair my shoes but not uh, cut my hair. <clears throat> so we invented money. And uh, money basically came in coins uh, and then pieces of paper. Uh, today, uh, about $60 trillion exist in the world of which only six trillion dollars are in the form of coins or paper. The rest are basically in the form of uh, digital data on various servers in the, in the world, in various computers in the world. So actually 90% <clears throat> of the world's money exists as digital codes, digital data and all transactions are transactions of uh, electronic data. All tra transactions, whether you want to buy land, or whether you want to trade with another country, or whether the people buy weapons, arms, and the value that we give money is uh, basically what society values. So society may value um, weapons, arms, violence, in which case uh, weapons become a precious commodity. If society values gold, which by itself is useless, you can't eat gold or do anything, but then uh, it becomes uh, valuable, gold becomes valuable, or diamonds. By themselves they're useless, you can do nothing other than maybe uh, buy some jewelry. If society values uh, certain goods and services, then those goods and services become valuable, and then that's the value of your money. But today, of the $2.2 trillion that circulates in the world's markets, only 2% um, of that goes to provide goods and value, 2%. The rest is derivatives and uh, basically transactions in the stock market which are um, a form of gambling. So we use a uh, form of gambling uh, to make money, to make money, to make money, to make money. And most of the people who are doing that are actually quite miserable. They're stressed out, they're watching the stock market which is going up and down and their blood pressure and the quality of their sleep and relationships depends on uh, digital data going up and down on the stock market. So that is what money is. Money is um, uh, in our collective imagination. 
What is the difference between money and wealth? Well, I think money is the symbol of transaction, but wealth is a state of consciousness, which means do you have the confidence uh, to express your creativity, uh, to make uh, people happy, uh, to provide uh, either a service or a product that will improve the quality of life for another person. So wealth is a state of consciousness that comes from the ability to love and have compassion, the ability to have self-esteem, the ability to have confidence in your own creativity. It happens. Wealth um, is a state of consciousness of, in fact, abundance consciousness, which comes when your higher purpose or calling, your career and your skills and your life purpose come together. So I'll say that again, career, life purpose, your unique skills and your higher calling come together. So my career has been one of writing and uh, speaking and also teaching at the Chopra Center and seeing patients, that's my career. My higher calling has been awakening and enlightenment and my purpose has been to love and serve, and that has assured me uh, a fair degree of abundance consciousness, and that is wealth, a state of consciousness. Okay, now let's go to what is financial well-being. Financial well-being is um, not having concern about money, not being worried about money. It means uh, that you have enough to meet your daily needs, enough to take a vacation with your friends and family. Um, you are not concerned about insurance or taxes, and you save regularly so that uh, if there's an emergency or crisis, you have uh, the ability to go through that, at least financially. Um, it's been said now, according to all statistics, that if a person has about $75,000, uh, they are financially okay. Above that, incrementally more money does not increase their life satisfaction. Now that, of course, could change and be different for different people. But basically, money is not a source of wor money is not a source of worry. And who worries about money? The extremely rich and the extremely poor. Both worry about money. And when it becomes your identity, then that interferes with your financial well-being. Is money the cause of misery? Money can be the cause of misery if it causes stress. But um, money can also help your level of happiness if you know how to spend it wisely, if you spend it on friends and family. People who spend money on others are happier. If you spend it on experiences rather than a product, you know, when you spend it on an experience, you look forward to the experience, you enjoy the experience, hopefully you have happy memories of the experience. Now that is money well spent. Going on a vacation, going out for dinner with friends and family or entertainment, spending money on others will make you happy. So happiness is certainly what we do anything for, right? Happiness is the ultimate goal of all goals. And money factors in about 10 to 12% of your happiness comes from money. So there you have it. This is a summary of the difference between money, wealth, financial well-being, and happiness. If you remember, the ultimate goal of all goals is happiness then money will not preoccupy your mind because happiness comes from meaning, purpose, higher calling, the ability to make other people happy. And sometimes money factors in, but not always. Okay, that's my little sharing this morning with you. I'm hoping you have a great day and uh, don't think too much about money.